Welcome to Budget Beauty, where I help you look flawless for less. Welcome back and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen and this is Budget Beauty. We do everything beauty on a budget and that includes declutters. I need to declutter my lip drawer. It is overflowing and there are old products. There are products I've never used. There's things I'm never gonna use. We need to clean it out. So we're doing a declutter today. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not. I would love to have you here. Don't forget to check out the description box for my favorite beauty boxes. All of the makeup that I'm wearing in today's video, if you would like to recreate this look and come follow me on TikTok for a little bit more beauty on a budget. I'm going to flip you around and show you my very embarrassing lip collection. It is time. It is time to go through this hot mess of lip products. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's out of control. And this is after decluttering a whole bunch at the beginning of the year. All my bullet lipsticks, everything. I, I just, I don't even know what I have. I don't even know where to start. I have a really hard time finding what I want. So I definitely, definitely need to go through this. So we are going to do a declutter of all of my lip products. We're getting rid of anything that's old. We're getting rid of anything that doesn't bring me joy or make me want to reach for it. So let's start this declutter collection of my lip products. So what I did is I went ahead, laid everything out by brand. You're going to see, I obviously have my favorite brands. And then I have quite a few one-offs where I just have one lip product from a brand. Like I said, some of these are really, really old. Some of these are just things I don't reach for anymore. So we're going to be a little bit ruthless so that we can narrow this massive lip collection down. How I want to lay it out in my drawer is I want it by product. So liquid lips, lip oils, lip gloss, and if I can keep, if I have a lot of one specific brand, I want to try to keep that together as well. So let's go ahead and start first with this lip gloss from Melt. This is just a beautiful kind of fun bubblegum pink lip, liquid lip. I definitely want to keep this. It's a kind of a color in my collection that I don't have a lot of. And then I actually just got this bullet lip in my Melt Mystery Box and I really love this color. It's a berry color, super pretty. I don't have a lot of bullet lips because I've actually decluttered most of my bullet lips. They're just not products that I use a lot. So these two from Melt I am going to keep. I have two liquid lips from She Glam and I actually really, really like these liquid lips. She Glam is Shein's makeup line. My go-to for liquid lips is definitely a nude and these are some, these are really pretty nudes. So I have two liquid lipsticks and two glosses from Laura Lee Los Angeles. You can see I am over halfway through the two glosses from the Candy Skies collection. And I love the nude colored liquid lips. I actually reach for these a lot. So I'm going to keep all of these. These two may end up in a project pan. These are stains, more like a lip stains from Trace Luce Beauty. I don't love these. I don't think I'm a lip stain kind of girl. So I am actually going to go ahead and pass these on. Two liquid lips from Gerard Cosmetics. These are the only two I have from the brand. And I really like both of these colors. My go-to for lips is definitely a liquid lip. So you're going to see that I have a lot of them and I probably will end up keeping most of my liquid lips. I have quite a few Ofra Cosmetics products. I really like their lip products. I have glosses and liquid lips. So these are the four liquid lips that I have. And these two right here are fairly similar in color. One's just a little bit deeper purple shade than the other, and I would reach for this one more than this one, so I am going to go ahead and declutter. And then for glosses, I'm going to declutter the light gloss. It's just too light for me, I never use it. The pink gloss I will go ahead and keep, and I'm going to declutter the little mini liquid lip as well. Three lip products from Odin's Eye, love these. Love, love, love these. These are not going anywhere. They're kind of a cross between a liquid lipstick and a bullet lipstick, and I just love the color, so I'm keeping all three. I love Jaclyn Cosmetics liquid lips. You can see I have quite the collection. I think I'm going to keep these all, but let me look through them really quick. I'm not going to part with any of them. I love my Jaclyn liquid lips, so I'm going to keep all of these. Then I have one Jaclyn Cosmetics lip oil, which I really like the color of this. This is her lip drip, so I'm keeping that as well. We'll go ahead and get these out of the way because I'm keeping all of my Lunar Beauty lip oils. I'm telling you, the best lip oil formula on earth comes from Lunar Beauty, so these are not going anywhere. Three from Tarte, and I'm keeping all of these as well. I have my Man Eater Plumping Lip Gloss, which I love. I actually really like the nude shade of this liquid lip, and then I just bought the Tarte by the Sea. You know what? 
Actually, I'm going to go ahead and declutter this Tarte by the Sea lip stick in kind of like a crayon form. I'm never going to use that. It's brand new, so I will actually pass that along, but I'm going to keep these two Tarte products. Next up is Juvia's Place. So I actually really like the Juvia's Place glosses, which are these two right here. So these I'm 100% keeping. And then I have liquid lips, and I have two purple liquid lips actually in the same shade. So I obviously don't need two purple liquid lips. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter one of those. I'm also going to declutter the black liquid lip. I wore it for a couple Halloweens, but it's been a minute and it's probably past its expiration. And then I'll go ahead and keep the one purple liquid lip because I do like that, especially for Halloween. From Too Faced, I have two melted mattes. Love these. Use them all the time, especially this one that's discontinued from the cinnamon roll collection. So I am 100% keeping both of those. So I have a lot of NYX because I did the NYX advent calendar. So I have a lot of the mini liquid lips. First though are the NYX. This is Milky Gloss. This shade right here is way too light for me. Not a shade that I'm going to reach for. So I'm actually going to declutter. And then this one is more just kind of a gloss and I don't ever reach for it. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter it as well. This is my favorite product from NYX. These are the butter glosses. I love them. And this is in the shade Fudge Me. Yes, I have two because this is my all time favorite shade. I wear it all the time. So I'm keeping. I also have a full size butter gloss in London that I'm going to keep as well. And then in here are all the little minis that I got in the advent calendar. So I'm actually going to go through these and really just keep the ones that I know I'm going to get a lot of use out of. I'm going to keep only four and I'm going to declutter five. So I kept a couple of pinks just because I don't have a lot of those shades, the good brown neutral, and then one that has a little bit more of a berry tone. And I'm decluttering all five of these. None have been used, so I'm going to pass those along. Next up is Buxom. Now I love Buxom's glosses. These are all plumping glosses. You can see that I have a lot of use out of these. I don't think there's any that I'm going to get rid of. And then ColourPop. I have quite a few ColourPop glosses. Oh, look, there's another Jaclyn Cosmetics lip oil. I'm keeping that. Let me look through these. I'm probably going to keep all of the glosses. That's the one lip product from ColourPop I really like. Yeah, I'm going to keep them all. I use these a lot, actually. In fact, I'm wearing the purple tinted one today. And then I have all my Unearthly Cosmetics. These are all of my satin lipsticks, lip glosses. You can see that I've got I have just tons of them. Unearthly is my favorite indie brand, so I'm keeping all of these. In fact, the lip products I use the most come from Unearthly. So now this is all of the one-offs, like just one product from a single brand. This is where I'm going to probably do a lot of decluttering. I have a lip crayon from Nude Sticks, definitely decluttering. I'll never reach for that. I have this lip oil from the brand Tannius. This came in a subscription box. I actually really like this, so I'm going to keep. My one and only ABH liquid lip, love the color, keeping. My one and only Natasha Denona liquid lip. I bought this specifically because it is a beautiful nude so keeping. From Kosas, I have their wet lip oil, not my favorite formula, so decluttering. I mentioned I'm not a big lip bullet lip wear. This is a bullet lip from Essence, so I'm going to declutter. I have a liquid lip from the brand M Cosmetics, and I really like this. It's one of the only orangey toned liquid lips that I have, so I'm keeping. I have a purple tinted from Jolie Cosmetics. I think this is a lip gloss. I've never worn it, so I'm going to declutter. I have a liquid lip from the Beauty Crop, going to declutter this as well. I have this color time and time again. From Lorella, I have a pink liquid lip. I wear this all the time. One of my favorite pink liquid lips, so I'm keeping. From Pat McGrath, my only Pat McGrath liquid lip, and I love the color of this, so keeping. I have the Milk Makeup Kush Balm. I use this all the time. It actually sits on my desk, so I'm going to keep. From the brand Well People, I have a tinted lip gloss. I've never used this, so I'm going to declutter. I have a lip gloss from Pretty Little Thing. This is just way too light for me. Like, literally gives me concealer lips, so declutter. I have no idea what brand this is, but it looks old, so decluttering. The brand Oakalon, I have a liquid lip gloss. This is pretty similar to the Lorella one that I'm keeping, so I'm going to declutter. I have this Nomad lip gloss, obsessed with this, so 100% keeping. This is from some bougie brand. I don't know which one it is. I've had this for a couple of years, so it definitely it has run its course, so I'm going to declutter. Also, I have this liquid or this lip gloss from Becca, also super old declutter. My Sephora liquid lip, I love this red color. I wear this a lot during the holidays, so I'm going to keep. From Victoria's Secret, this is one of the things I got in my advent calendar that I really like. This is the Bombshell lip gloss. You can see I've made quite a dent, so I am definitely keeping. This lip gloss from Lorac, again, concealer lip vibes, so decluttering. This 
This is a plumping lip gloss from TYS. I really like this. It came in a subscription box. It is just the right amount of plump and it is a beautiful gloss, so I'm keeping. I have this lip balm from RMS Beauty. I have never used it, so I'm actually going to pass that along. I have this Suva Beauty gloss. Love, 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 so keeping. And you guys know I love the Cab Cosmetics lip oil, so I'm keeping that as well. This fun kind of wine bottle package came in a subscription box. It's a really pretty color, but I've never reached for it. So since it's brand new, I am going to pass it along. Medusa's makeup lip gloss, also love this. It gives me actually the vibes of this TYS one without the plumping. So I reach for these two a lot. My Blend Bunny liquid lipstick is never leaving my collection. I love, love, love this, so keeping. From Victoria's Secret, I also have the Passion lip gloss. Now this is one that I really don't reach for, so I'm going to go ahead and declutter. From Rude Cosmetics, I have this beautiful pinky red liquid lip. Keeping, 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 I love it. From Rinna Beauty, this is a lip gloss. I have used this a ton, but it is old, and it is almost gone, so I'm going to go ahead and declutter. Sophia Maybell lip oil, love this. Have never heard of this brand. It came in a subscription box, but I love it, so I'm keeping it. And shockingly, I love this lip gloss from Makeup Revolution. I did a full face in Makeup Revolution and was shocked at how much I love this, so I'm definitely keeping this as well. My one and only Tower 28 lip gloss, obsessed. I don't know what brand this is. It's another bougie brand. I've never used this, so I'm going to declutter. And I have a lip oil from Merit. I really like this as well, so I'm keeping. So back to multiple products for a line. I have the Lawless Forget the Filler Plumping Glosses, my all-time favorite. I talk about these a lot on my channel, so obviously I'm keeping these. I have a few products here from e.l.f. So first is this orangey colored gloss. It's old, so I'm going to declutter. This e.l.f. lip gloss is too light for me, also decluttering. And then the only one I'm actually going to keep is from their Game Up collection, and this is just a lip gloss. And I keep this by my desk, so I'm keeping. Fenty Beauty is next. I have a couple of her glosses, keeping those, and a couple of her liquid lips, also keeping. And then I have this little like snap-on gloss thing. I hate this. Like it's a pain to dig my finger into it, so I'm going to declutter. From Glamlight, I have a couple of bullet lips from Strawberry Shortcake and Chucky. I have the matching gloss for Strawberry Shortcake. And then both of these Glamlight glosses are so incredibly beautiful, so keeping it all. So let me quickly count up everything that I kept organize it, get it back in my drawer and everything I decluttered and we'll see how we did. Alrighty, we are much more organized. I feel a lot better. I have all my liquid lips, lip oils, and then some extra from Unearthly Cosmetics. I have all of my NYX, my bullet lips and my Odin's eye. I have all my Unearthly and then in the back is ColourPop and all my glosses. So I feel a lot better. So I kept 128 lip products, which I know is stupid. Stupid, stupid. I'm really going to work on panning these and getting this collection even smaller. And then I actually ended up decluttering 35. So I had way, 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 way too many, but I feel a lot better. My drawer can close. And again, I can just focus on using things up. I'm really going to focus on these Laura Lee lip glosses because they're actually, I mean, halfway gone at least. There's some liquid lips I use all the time. I'm going to focus on those. I'm really just going to try to whittle down my collection. I mean, look at this lip oil from Jacqueline. So that's my plan. My plan is to whittle down. I hope you enjoyed today's declutter. I got a little bit, a little inspiration to clean out your beauty stash. I will be doing declutters throughout the year and I do a massive, massive eyeshadow palette declutter at the end of the year. So make sure you're subscribed, your bell's on, your thumbs up today's video, and check out that description box for my favorite beauty boxes. All of the makeup that I'm wearing today, if you would like to recreate this look, and come follow me on TikTok for a little bit more beauty on a budget. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.